Welcome to Shift Mobility's Shop Light. We're going to give you a quick walkthrough, guys. We want you to get started on the right foot and get as much use out of ShopLite as you absolutely can. This is our support line, our email, and our phone number. Please call us if you have any questions or concerns. All right, let's get to it. Now, there is much to go through. We won't be able to get through everything in this five-minute video, but we will get your settings set up. We will do a little bit of navigation, and of course, we will show you how to write an estimate. Let's start with your app switch menu, that icon that looks like nine little boxes. That's where you're gonna switch to different applications like repair or inspections. Um, your settings menu is right here. You can click to get to your settings. Let's explore some of these. One of the first things you're gonna wanna do is go to sign in and security. You're gonna wanna reset your password if you haven't already done so and set that new security signature. We call it an e-signature. You can automatically generate an e-signature to your email that we have on file, or you can manually reset it. After you're done all here, we're going to want to set your time zone. At the left there, go ahead and click on time zone. We've got mine set for US Pacific. We're good to go. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to set is our display preferences. So like if you were gonna turn your monitor around, and show the customer on your screen, you can turn these switches on and off. And there's that security signature that we talked about. Next important set of switches is gonna be print preferences. This is exactly like display preferences. It just affects what comes out of your printer. The next set of switches affect the estimate. This is where you turn your price matrix and price locking on or off. Next are your work order switches. You can turn these switches on and off and that affects the work order. Then we have your invoice preferences. You can experiment with these switches anytime, guys. Figure out what feels right for your shop. The most important thing is the invoice setup. This is where you're going to set your tax rates, your labor rates, um, any uh, licenses that you want to appear on the invoice, uh, any thank you messages, for example, and of course the very bottom of your invoice and estimate footer. You might want to pause this, rewind it a little bit, rewatch so you can see where I'm clicking. Um, and where I'm setting up my tax and labor rates. After you're all done, don't forget to click that save button. Next important setup is your tax worksheet. This is where you're going to want to set things like shop supplies or hazardous waste fees. Again, you can experiment with this a little bit, figure out what feels right for your shop, um, and don't forget to click that, that green save button when you're done. This is your recommendations menu. This pops up kind of towards the end when you're about to cash out a customer. You can add to this list of recommendations. Just click that little plus sign up at the top, um, you can add multiple lines at the same time, start typing, click that save button, and it will show up in your recommendations list. All right guys, we're almost done, hang in there. Last thing we're gonna do is your packages. These are like your can jobs. So we're actually gonna set up a diagnostic job, uh, but you can copy from our, our template list there. Um, so packages are really easy. Uh, just type in your package name, what type of package it is, is it diagnostic, is it maintenance, is it a service? Um, put the description that you want in there, what the package includes. Go ahead and tap that next button and then you're going to see a couple things. Um, for now, for this diagnostic, we're just putting one labor line. Um, so those two bottom uh, parts and labor lines there are what's important. So I'm adding an hour diagnostic time at 135, perfect. I'm gonna click next, next again, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this package. Good job guys, congrats, you're all set up. Now it is time to show you how to estimate. Hang in there, this is the last minute and a half of the video. Okay, so this is your estimating screen. We're gonna do a quick year make model lookup. We're just gonna do a 2015 Acura MDX base. So you click your year, your make, your model, your engine. All right, now you can choose between customer or fleet. We're just gonna add a normal customer for right now. Now to opt in and out of messages, um, just tap that, uh, that left SMS and opt in uh, checkboxes. When you're done, go ahead and save and move on to the estimate. So now this is the estimating. We're gonna close that window for right now. Um, let's add our diagnostic package, go up to your packages, you can search, diagnostic, go ahead and add it, boom, shows up perfect. Okay, now the rest of these lines, they can be either parts lines or labor lines. So here's labor line one, 
parts line one. We're gonna go ahead and add our part number. Now this is just manually typing. This is gonna give you basic skills to get you going and get you started quickly. Um, we're typing our part price. Now we're gonna do our labor line, how many hours, at what rate, perfect. Um, if I wanna add additional lines, I just click that little uh, add sign. And now if I need to edit my parts line and for example, add my, uh, my costs in there, I do that at this back window. That's it folks, you did it, congrats. That is the basic skills for building an estimate within ShopLite. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. We're here to help you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your new shop management system.